We want to hold fast to the spiritual impressions we've had and the inspired teachings we have heard. But it's inevitable that after heavenly moments in our lives, we of necessity return to earth, so to speak, where sometimes less than ideal circumstances again face us. Paul warned us of this when he wrote, Call to remembrance the former days in which after you were illuminated, you endured a great fight of affliction. That post-illumination affliction can come in many ways and it can come to all of us. Realizing that we all have to come down from peak experiences to deal with the regular vicissitudes of life May I offer this encouragement? If in the days ahead you see not only limitations in those around you, but also find elements in your own life that don't yet measure up to the messages you've heard this weekend, please don't be cast down in spirit and don't give up. With the gift of the atonement of Jesus Christ and the strength of heaven to help us, we can improve. And the great thing about the gospel is we get credit for trying, even if we don't always succeed. Please, please remember tomorrow and all the days after that, that the Lord blesses those who want to improve who cherish Christ-like virtues and strive to the best of their ability to acquire them. If you stumble in that pursuit, so does everyone. The Savior is there to help you keep going. If you fall, summon his strength, call out, Oh Jesus, have mercy on me. He'll help you get back up. He'll help you repent and repair and fix whatever you have to fix and keep going. Soon enough, you'll have the success that you seek. As you desire of me, so it shall be done unto you, the Lord has declared. Put your trust in that spirit which leadeth to do good, yea, to do justly, to walk humbly, to judge righteously, then whatsoever you desire of me in righteousness, you shall receive. The first great commandment of all eternity is to love God with all our heart, might, mind, and strength. That's the first great commandment. But the first great truth of all eternity is that God loves us with all of his heart, might, mind, and strength. That love is the foundation stone of eternity. And it should be the foundation stone of our daily life. Indeed, it is only with that reassurance burning in our soul that we can have the confidence to keep trying to improve, keep seeking forgiveness for our sins, and keep extending that grace to our neighbor. No matter how serious the trial, how deep the distress, how great the affliction, God will never desert us. He never has and He never will. He cannot do it. It is not his character to do so. He will always stand by us. We may pass through the fiery furnace. We may pass through deep waters. But we shall not be consumed nor overwhelmed. We shall emerge from all these trials and these difficulties the better. that majestic devotion, 
rain from heaven as the great constant in our lives, manifested most purely and perfectly in the life, death, and atonement of the Lord Jesus Christ, we can escape the consequences of both sin and stupidity, our own or that of others, in whatever form they may come to us in the course of daily living. If we give our heart to God, if we love the Lord Jesus Christ, if we do the best we can to live the gospel, then tomorrow and every other day is ultimately going to be magnificent, even if we don't always recognize it as such. Why? Because our Heavenly Father wants it to be. He wants to bless us. A rewarding, abundant, and eternal life is the very object of His merciful plan for His children. It is a plan predicated on the truth that all things work together for good to them that love God. So keep loving, keep trying, keep trusting, keep believing, keep growing. Heaven is cheering you on today, tomorrow, and forever. Hast thou not known? Hast thou not heard, Isaiah cried, God giveth power to the faint. And to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. They that wait upon him shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. For the Lord God will hold their right hand, saying unto them, Fear not, I will help thee. May he bless us to strive with patience and persistence toward the ideals we have heard knowing that His divine love and unfailing help will be with us even when we struggle. No, will be with us especially when we struggle. Remember Joshua's encouragement to his people when they faced a daunting future. Sanctify yourselves, he said, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. I declare that same promise. It is the promise of him who performs those wonders, who is himself wonderful, counselor, the mighty God, the Prince of Peace. Of him I bear witness of him I am a witness in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.